All right, hey guys, what an epic week it's been. A few really sick deliveries for me this week and I'm really pumped to bring you this one especially. This custom Sonova Pilot with the wild Larry Foiler graphics has been something I've been hanging for for so long and it finally arrived. This board got stuck in transit for about six months. Um, so as you can imagine, I was super keen to get it. So let's go through it real quick. Check this thing out. The graphics on this are just absolutely berserk. The legend that Sonova just said to me, mate, go nuts, design up some really wild things, go as crazy as you can. Um, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go all out 80s retro. I'm an 80s kid after all. So um, we've just gone for the turquoise, hot pink. There's a bit of lime green on there. There's some bright orange. Um, my daughter helped me choose the colors of these. There's a few of her favorite colors involved as well. Um, and I'm definitely not gonna be losing this board out in the water anytime soon with these colors. So this is the 4.3 Sunover Pilot. Um, it's the standard shape. You can buy this one off the shelf. But also remember guys, you can get custom graphics from Sonova as well. So if you want something wild, hit up Sonova. They're more than happy. They've got some crazy artists in the factory there and they'll come up with something crazy for you. So I've got quite a few variations of this board. There's some really cool colors out there. Um, I'm pretty stoked to have this one myself. So it's a 4.3, 30 liters. Uh, this is probably gonna be my prone board. Um, I've ridden one of these before already. I've tried them out. I really, really like this shape. I'm also hoping that it's going to be good for wing foiling as well. This could be my full all-rounder. Um, I hope so because this board looks so sick. I really don't want to ride anything else at the moment. So um, what we're doing today, we're going over the board briefly um, and I'm going to grip it up. So I really want to ride this board tomorrow. It's actually late at night right now. Um, but since I want to ride it, I need to get some grip on it. Um, I don't want to wait till the morning. I'm gripping it now. I'm doing this vid really quick for you guys. And then I can ride this thing tomorrow, hopefully. So let's have a look at some of the stuff we've got today. I've got some really sick options for gripping this thing up. And let me just say, I'm really particular when it comes to gripping my boards. I overthink it. I triple think it. Um, eventually I get there, but like, it's such a process and I stress out so much about gripping my board. So thankfully RS Pro has hooked us up with some really sick products for gripping the board. My favorite being the cork deck grips, which are eco-friendly. I really like that. So let's have a look at what we've got from RS Pro. Um, the RS Pro front deck grip here, um, I've been using on my boards now for quite a while. Uh, amazing product, it's cork, it's super thin. Um, for me, it tends to feel grippier when it's wet. So. I don't know how that works, but it's really good. It's the perfect amount of grip. I shuffle my feet when I foil too. So this still allows me to move my feet around without getting stuck in the grip. So dare say, I'm gonna put this on as the front deck grip today. Um, and then for the tail, there's a new product I've actually never used before, which is the Hexa tail wide grip from RS Pro. Um, I've got two of these. Um, I've had a little brief look at them already. I've got a funny feeling that I might be doing a little bit of mix and matching and I might come up with something a bit wild using both of these for my tail pad. This will be the first time I've used an RS Pro tail pad. So I'm really pumped to see how this goes. And if I like it, I'll be sure to let you know. And I've also got the Hexa traction pads here from RS Pro. So I've got the camo edition uh, pads. So I'll pull those out of the box and show you. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those for this board because um, I'm not sure if they're going to match to be honest. Probably going to go with the clear. So what I normally do with these guys is put one or two of them between the front pad and the tail pad for my boards just for a little bit of extra paddling uh, grip on my stomach in between the two pads. Sometimes I even put a couple of those clear pads in front of my front pad, um, especially for wing foiling and things like that. You need to adjust your stance for those water starts. You need to go super wide. So I like to cover as much of my deck as possible with grip. And I'm totally freaking out about ruining the amazing graphics on this board. So I'm gonna put a bit of effort into gripping it up this time. And I think this is gonna be the gnarliest grip job that I've ever done. All right, so let's check out the front grip from RS Pro. This is the cork edition, um, eco-friendly. I think that's pretty sick. And I gotta say thanks to these guys for hooking us up with these grips. I've been loving them for ages and there's actually a discount code if you guys wanna get these online. Their website is rspro.org and I'll put a link in the comment section of this video. Um, if you use the code Larry Foiler, I believe you get a discount, which is pretty sweet. So thanks to those guys. So this stuff is super flexible. It's actually a little bit stretchy. It comes in four pieces here. And this is a part where I just like to mix and match and play with the grip, try and figure out what's gonna look the best on my board, watching all those epic colors and graphics disappear, but at least it's pretty cool. It's behind this awesome cork looking grip. So 
I'm just going to throw these up. Now I have a pretty wide stance, so I have to get these quite far up my board. So I'm just going to lay them in place. And I'm going to try and work out how I like it. I like to sometimes stagger these back panels a little bit. Um, all right, so this is my starting point of how I normally grip a board up. I just got to make sure it looks good and then I measure everything and get it centered before I actually apply it. Okay, so front grip may go somewhere like that. We'll crack open these hexa tail wide pads now. Um, these again, it's a modular system. You can set it up however you like. There's so many different ways to do it. So let's see what we've got inside the box. Okay always stickers and no one ever says no to stickers all right we've got some of these small little panels um, one thing super cool there are instructions on how to apply these and they also come with a little installation template that yeah I'll pop this out this pops out of the box and this is this just helps you achieve perfect spacing between your hexes and if you're a little OCD like I am definitely comes in handy so I'll put this aside I may or may not use it let's just leave it here for now okay we've got two of these hexes which have the big chunky tail block um, because my boards have narrow tails I don't think I'm going to actually be able to fit both of these so let's just have a look and see what happens um, I have a feeling I'm just going to end up with one tail block and this is why I might be busting open that second box so Normally these things go like this. This is the standard way to do it, right? And then you've got these small little panels which fill in these gaps. And that's pretty sick. And if I had a like fish surfboard or something like that, or a twin fin, that would actually fit perfect. But because my, my prone foil boards are a bit narrow, it's kind of going to hang off. It doesn't really fit. I don't feel like cutting these chunky blocks either. So perhaps if I have one tail block here, I might be able to actually almost reverse it. And if I can steal from this other box, another one of these, I think I'm a fair chance of having a pretty cool setup. And that'll just leave me with some pretty epic spare parts in this box, should I need them in the future. So I'm kind of thinking something like this, right? And this is the little template installation template that I have that actually will sit in there and then you can achieve perfect spacing that's actually looking pretty mean I like that there that fits the board perfectly I'd probably shuffle everything back a little more like that and that's looking really good actually I'm happy with that if I can get this gripped up in this way nice and straight which I seem to not often do but I'm going to make sure I do it with this board I think that is actually look, looking epic that's how I want it um, all right let's bust open the hexa traction pads real quick promise to show you guys the camo so let's have a quick look at the camo stickers epic all right okay so these actually look pretty sick because they're gray camo now I'm kind of interested in getting getting on the board so I've got some gray camo pads um, now these gray these camo pads I think there's like there we go so there's some half panels as well here so we've got half panels and full panels you can cut them up as well. You can get really creative with these. There is, there are heaps in this pack. There's enough to actually do a full deck. So you could actually get rid of all the cork stuff and grip your whole board with this. I could even grip my whole board with clear if I wanted to, but I like to just use these ones sparingly. So let's put the camos aside for now. We'll bust open the clears and see what I've got in here. I have raided this box previously, so it's only about half full, but these are the clear pads and you can't see them from there but they've got well you may may see they've got small hexes on there which provide grip it's almost like a soft sandpaper kind of feel these things are ultra thin uh, provide a perfect amount of grip and they're clear so if you've got cool graphics that you want to look after on your board um, this is a really good option and I'll generally just sometimes I just put one here 
so that when I'm paddling around, there's just a tiny bit of grip in between my front and back pad. Um, maybe fit two in, but I think I'm just gonna go with one. That's generally my thing is just to put one in there or maybe put a halfy on the bottom or here or something just to get a bit more creative. So this is probably gonna be my layout. Um, the only uh, little issue that I have now, this board has strap inserts as well. So I may or may not end up riding this with straps but I do want to preserve those holes if I do want to do it. So I have to be really careful. I'm going to try a few different tricks to mark out the pads and punch holes in them for when I apply them. Okay, so my challenge now is to make sure that I can preserve the holes for the foot strap. So I'm going to have a bit of a play with this and uh, see if I can mark those out and then we're going to get ready to install the grip. And then we just have a little sip of drink. All right, guys, it's now time to grip this thing. Um, before we grip a new board, always prepare the surface nicely. Make sure you've got a really clean surface to work with. These boards often have a bit of dust or residue from the factory. Um, I generally don't like to use chemicals because if you're like me and you have damaged a board in the past using household chemicals, it's not the best feeling in the world. I just use a damp cloth now with a bit of water. Um, if you do want to use chemicals, just check with your board manufacturer because different uh, board materials have different reactions to different things. I don't want to risk it anymore. I just use a damp cloth. So this is all nice and clean now. It's ready to go. Um, I've just spent a few minutes marking out uh, the depth grips onto the board using light pencil. Um, double checked, triple checked, make sure it's all nice and straight and lined up. Um, then we've transferred the panels of deck grip onto tracing paper. And if you don't have tracing paper, you could use baking paper or something like that. Um, that's always handy. Uh, and we've marked the holes on there as well, punched the holes through. Um, so the front grip panels are all done. The holes are punched now for my strap inserts. Um, and this is actually really handy now because I can use these holes in the deck grip panels to line up. So everything lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna go right ahead now and get this bad boy all gripped up and ready to go. So I'm gonna start off with these two center panels here, um, which have the holes in. And basically once I've got those guys lined up and gripped up nicely, everything else will fall into place. And then I'm gonna go down and do the tail section of my board. So the deck is all nice and clean. It's ready to go. I'm gonna just double check that my holes line up here. So once these eight holes on each grip line up, that should be the perfect spot there for those front panels to start off with. So I'll put one aside, I'll grab this guy. So what I like to do is peel the backing paper off a couple of inches, um, realign those holes and then just stick down the first couple of inches of grip uh, and then the rest should fall into place after that. Be careful with these RS Pro grips. They're a little bit stretchy um, and in the past I have actually stretched them. So by the time I've gotten to the bottom of the panel, it's a few millimeters longer than it should be. So don't pull too hard as we stretch. So take some of the backing paper off here. Um, just a couple of inches down like this, just to about there, fold it over. This is an old trick I learned from my sign writing days. And now we go and line these holes up again. Just here. Perfect. And now I stick down this front part that we've already exposed the adhesive like this light pressure to start with and remember not to pull too hard and now we reach under pull the backing paper off halfway at a time and i'm not pushing hard or stretching here but i'm just going through and making sure that the holes line up as we go there it is and once it's in place then we give it some proper pressure there we go. I use this now, just fold this up and just give it a rub down just to get some even pressure applied throughout. And I just give a big focus on all of those four corners because they're the most likely parts to peel up. Give it some nice pressure. And that's that one done. Now we're gonna go right ahead and do the next one. Okay, so here we go, second panel now. Same as the first, I'm just gonna remove the first couple of inches here of the backing paper, just to here. I'll fold that over. Just making sure I don't cover any of the holes because I need to be able to see through. There we go. There 
Okay, so we line those holes up just like that, absolutely perfect. And we just put that first panel down there. And now we remove most of the backing paper again and just keeping a visual on those holes, making sure they all fall into place without stretching this grip. There we go, and we just ease it down like that. Beautiful. And I like to just use this to just get a bit of pressure on there now. And all of our holes are there now available if we want to put straps on this board. So again, I put a little bit of pressure throughout the whole thing with my thumbs, especially on those corners. Make sure we really get this thing stuck down. Beautiful. Now I've got some light pencil marks on my board now. So with these two side panels, I've gone for the staggered approach, which I think will look pretty sick. So they're going to line up like this. I'm just going to double check those again, that they're in place, looking good. And I'm going to go and use the same process to apply these two. So let's go with this guy first. We remove the backing paper. Okay, so I line that up with my pencil mark there and there, making sure they're parallel with the other panel. Beautiful, I'm going to let that one settle here. And then again, being super careful not to stretch these because they're thin and they are very stretchy. Just ease it down into position. And look at that. This is actually starting to look beautiful. I'll get some pressure on it. And I'll get those corners pushed down as well. And all the edges. Next panel. Double check that it's all lined up with those pencil marks just here. And here, perfect. Let me just expose the adhesive just a couple of inches again. Let's try and find my pencil mark, which is right there and there. So there we go. All right, there we go, front grip, all on, perfect, nice and straight, looking sweet. Nice job, now we're gonna get stuck into that tail pad, guys. So this is all marked up as well. We've got the holes marked. This should all just drop in pretty easy. We're halfway. All right, I'm gonna start off with the tail block. Just gonna double check that everything lines up. Now the tail block here has three slits already in it, which luckily enough, happen to line up with these holes uh, for the strap inserts on my board. So. No cutting required for us, so I just get to line these up today. So that's going to go roughly in that position. Um, and then we've got our next panels, which I've already gone ahead and punched the holes in, which, have, which line up with the strap insert holes. So just there, there, and there as a rough guide. Now, I have these final two panels, which I think will go here and here. So I'm just double checking that everything's right before I go and commit to sticking this down because this is super stressful. Like I said before, I've got to make sure we nail this. So that's going to be my tail pad. Um, perfect. So I'll take these off. I can leave these two here because that's going to help me line up the tail block. All right, tail block's good to go. So I'm just going to remove just this top corner of backing paper. And that will allow me to put it in place. It'll hold it in position and then the rest of it will go pretty easy. So I've got a tiny bit of adhesive exposed. I'll get it into place. I'm lining it up with the holes now for my straps. 
So this makes it super easy to get it all straight. And that is it right there. And I just get that adhesive down. Beautiful, reach under, backing paper off. I'm gonna take this all the way off because it's a solid piece. And that just drops straight into position over those holes and we just apply hardcore pressure to this guy. And that's the tail block down. Everything else will now fall into place around the tail block. Beautiful, I've got just enough access now if I want to put straps in this board. The holes straight through the slits, beautiful. All right. So I'm going to start off with this guy by lining up these holes that I've punched in for the strap inserts. That's the most important part because I know that if they line up, then everything else on this panel will fall into place. So I'm just going to remove the backing paper this much and fold it over at the back and get those holes down in position. This is super easy for these small panels now. Nice and quick. There we go, straight in. They've all hit the mark. Now I'm gonna remove this whole thing as well because this thing needs to drop down in one piece. I don't wanna stretch this one and, and blow it. So I just let it fall into place naturally. And then I'll just take a piece of this and just fold it up because it's slippery, it's really handy just to rub it down and apply some pressure. And then I'll get my thumbs onto those corners and push it down. And the tail pad is starting to take shape with one more panel to go. So I'm gonna expose about a quarter of the adhesive again, fold it over like this and get those holes to line up again. And once they're lined up, it will all drop into place beautifully. Just here. And there it is. I'll remove the rest of the backing paper. I'll just let that adhesive fall into position. Like this. And we just apply the pressure. Tail pad looking sick. Loving this one now, starting to do this board some justice. And we push this one down to make sure it's all fully stuck and adhered, especially those corners. All right, I've got these two final little pieces here which are gonna go here and here. I'm gonna just drop these in by eye. I'm pretty confident I'll get these in the right spot. So I'll just remove the backing paper. And these guys will just go straight in here. Beautiful. Give it nice pressure again. So one of my favorite things about these RS Pro kits is that you can really freestyle it and mix and match. So if you get a couple of sets, you get some spare parts and you can put things in like this and with a hex pattern, everything lines up with everything else. So you can always come up with something unique to suit your certain board or your shape or your own personal style. That's what I really love about this stuff. That is my tail pad looking fresh. There we go. Love that. It is looking sweet. This board is almost ready to ride now. I'm gonna do one final part. We'll get rid of all of this stuff. And I've got my clear hex pad, which I'm gonna drop right here. Um, and this is just my final piece of grip for when I'm paddling around and uh, just this part of the board can get a little bit slippery. So I like to just put one of these clear hex pads in the middle. Um, and I'm gonna do it exactly the same way that I've done the rest where I will just peel about a quarter of the backing paper off the adhesive. And I'm gonna line it up and do it bit by bit. Now these are a bit rougher, so they're kind of a little trickier to smooth down, but I'll show you my trick. Okay, so we've pulled the adhesive back on this hex pad now, the clear. So we apply this, we just line it up nice and easy. We just get the first part down. 
And I use my finger on this one, side to side, get all the air out of it. Nice and slow. And that little clear hex pad is just going to give me a little bit more grip in the middle of my board, mostly just for paddling around the lineup. Um, sometimes your feet might end up in that little patch in the middle of your board as well, and it's nice just to have a little bit of grip underneath. So we just try and squeeze out as much of the air as we can, um, and that will settle itself and just give us a little bit more grip. There we go, and this board is ready to go. It is looking absolutely sick. I love this grip job. The RS Pro Grips are absolutely epic. The cork finish on it goes pretty good with the wild colours of this board, so I'm now good to go. I can ride this board tomorrow now, hopefully. Um, that's the plan. I'm really happy with how it's come out. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. Hit the subscribe button, guys. That'd be amazing. And let us know what you think. Keep in touch, and I'll give a full review of this board as soon as I've had a go to give it a crack. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time for sure. See you later.